in our last video we created this header file of this navigation drive so in this video i'm going to show you how we can create uh, uh, this bottom part of this drive so these items will load from a menu file and also i have created few drivers here okay um, you can create one drivable by right clicking on this drivable folder then click on new then go to vector set and from here you can select one any of these uh, predefined icons and you can just click on next and finish then it will create these icons here so i already have created few of this then we need to create one menu file in the resource folder right click new android resource file suppose the name is main menu and resource type is of type menu click on ok now go here to this code so you can see that it's created inside this menu folder and here we need to define groups and also you need to add this checkable behavior as a single because we want only single item selection from this group and we need to add some items here for the item first thing we need to add one icon suppose it is driver i see this i see home and we need to give one id so this id is the id for the fragment so i'm giving one uh, for the first fragment this id so if you go to this main graph here for each fragment we have one id Let me change the level. Uh, this is second fragment. So if the user, if the user click on this icon, this item, then it will open this first fragment. And also we need to give one title. Suppose it is home. let me copy and paste it here for the second one let uh, let me since i can as i see inbox and suppose it is second fragment and it is suppose it is inbox i have added these groups for different uh, different groups the first one is this uh, first fragment and second fragment and also for the second one i have added one title here for the second one it will show one title and similarly for the third one i have added one title and for the fourth one i have added one group so it will not show any title now we need to use this main menu in our activity main.xml file here if you go to this navigation view we can add this menu for that search for app menu and you can add the menu here if i remove the start then it will show me the full navigation drive now let me restart the app now you can see that this drive is created and this color this highlighted color is taken from uh, let me go to this theme file yeah from this color primary and if i click on this inbox then it will open the second fragment and if i click on home then it opens the first fragment there is one back button added here so we if you want to remove it then you need to go to this main activity and here you can assign all these top fragments so here just add set of r dot id dot first fragment and id dot second fragment so we need both first fragment and the second fragment as the top level distinctions that means this back button will not be shown for these fragments also let me go to this 
main themes dot xml file so if i change the color primary to something like gray now let me restart it now let's see how it looks like now you can see that this highlighted color is changed to this color primary and if i go to second frame and then it's not showing the back button here let me resense it to orange 600 and also we can change the color that is used to tint this text and this icon for that go here to activity main and inside this navigation view you need to add two properties one is called item text color for this for this we need to create one color here color property so just right click new color resource file name it something like drag item text icon and inside this color file we need to define it like uh, it's already one selector is defined so we can create one item here android color so let me uh, keep the color as yellow 500 and this color will be shown if we have the state this checked so if it is selected then this color will be shown and one more item we can give android color color gray suppose it is 900 this is the default color this color will be shown if it is not selected now in this activity main.xml file we can give that color color draw item text icon similarly for the icon we can give the same color so for that we need to use item icon tint color dry item text icon now let me restart it now let's see how it looks like so you can see that the default color is since and the color if we have it selected is since to this yellow we can also change the background of the selected item for that we need to create one drawable file right click new drawable resource file suppose the name is drawable item bg and let me remove this selector and okay let me change it to save so we need to add one save here and also we can define the type of this save android save it's of type rectangle and here we can add one color solid android color so let me use color gray 800 and we need to create one more drawable right click new drawable file draw item selector so here we will use that color and we'll say that if the item is selected then use this color for that we need to add step trick as true and for a travel i'm going to use this travel dry item selector okay it's not selector it's very busy dry item busy okay now we need to use it as the background so go to this activity main now just use this as item background and we can get this drawable dryer item selector okay let me restart it now now you can see that it's changed so it will be used as the default selected part selected item and we can also make some more customization like uh, if we you don't want to show this scroll bar 
and also if you want to change the color that if you are, we are serving up or serving down then you can see that one view is created here at the bottom this bubble view uh, i think it's called bubble view maybe i'm not sure but uh, we can change the color of this view and also if you are tapping on one item the, by default it's uh, it's showing this gray color we can also change this color for that we need to create one extra theme go to this themes.xml file and give one name of this team suppose it is team dot navigation dry and also we need to add on parent for this team for that team overlay dot material components dot light okay inside this team we can add different items so let me copy one from here so i'm gonna add three items so the first one is android scroll bar thumb vertical and we don't want to show the scroll bar so here i'm gonna keep the color transparent android color transparent then the second one is we need to define this control color control highlight for this i'm gonna use this yellow 500 and the third one is color third one is color primary for that i'm gonna use let's use it as orange 500 now let me restart it now okay i need to assign this theme for the dry navigation dry so go to this activity main and here we can assign the team so search for style team dot on try now restart that now you can see that this bar is removed and let me go to this team file so scroll bar thumbnail particle is made transparent so we are not seeing this transparent bar the color primary is used for showing this uh, this view when we are swiping up or swiping down and this yellow orange is used if i am tapping on any item so that's all for now so this is the way you can implement navigation trailer in navigation component and also using the main menu file you can define all the display fragments i'll share the source code on github and if you love this video please like it and please subscribe to my channel thanks bye